We're here. Studio A, AT&T Halftime Report. Ernie Johnson, Kenny Working Jackson. Working diligently. Charles Parker. Hey, that, was, that, that, that looked hey, good, didn't it? Hey, I mean, we, got we, a we, yellow we, pen going, got the red. We hey. have a double hitter. Why do you have to introduce us for both games? Because people may not be watching from start to finish, obviously. You mean to tell me that people are rude and inconsiderate enough not to sit here and watch 10 hours of basketball like we have to? Last time I checked the ratings, no. Uh, but uh, <laughs> not that they shouldn't. Hey, uh, you know what? It's, it's not our fault that y'all's schedule is on nights. They got the West Wing and Temptation. And all, all that other crap. We need to go up against the XFL. <laughs> I'm on the lobby now. We want to be against the XFL. In a perfect world, that's the way it would be. But we don't live not, in a perfect world. Not, not the last time I checked. 57-51, <laughs> halftime score. Lakers leading the Nuggets. You know, Denver's a tough place to play. Those guys are 22 and eight there. Is it really? And people talk about the altitude. On Is the it? fact you can't breathe, it's not really, it's easy to play there. <laughs> you know, I tell you what, I used to always hate going to Denver because you can't breathe there. That's why I'm impressed with Kobe got 17 points. He, has a, but he probably hasn't practiced a scrimmage in the last week. And to come out and get 17 points and a half is impressive. He goes 8 out of 12, too, Jay. Goes 8 out of 12, but, you know, he just adds so much to the Laker team. You talk about when Shaq was there and how good they were, even though uh, Shobi was out. As many viewers know, <laughs> just like I, they knew who we were when you introduced no, us. <laughs> we knew who Kobe Bryant and who I was talking exactly. about. Exactly. Well, well, you know what? The thing is good. Uh, Kenny has a point. If I got it out, <laughs> the Lakers. I'm glad I told they you played, earlier. They played pretty good without Shaq. They played good, pretty good without Kobe. Hopefully, all the turmoil is behind them, and they're playing really well. And Allen Iverson deserves MVP because he's been terrific all season. But for the second half of the season, Superman is in the building. He said he was going to come back with a vengeance, and he has. He has 11 points in the first half. Kobe. AKA Shobi has Showtime. It's a little bit of Showtime and a little Kobe. And a little Shobie. bit of Shaq. Hey. It's the whole package. The AT&T Halftime Report is brought to you by AT&T, proud sponsor of the NBA. You know, Doc Rivers has really done a good job keeping that team together. Yeah, that was Tracy McGrady there. And here's Doc Rivers kind of turning some heads a few weeks ago, said, you know what, we're going to make the playoffs. And, and, and this is at a time when you know you're not going to have Grant Hill, and your team is not even in the top eight when he said it. Well, he, he wouldn't have said that if he was in the Western Conference, I bet you. No, well, he's smarter than that. Yeah, but no, but you know, he's really done a good job. He got coached here, obviously, last year. But they're playing very well. They're, they're a scrappy bunch. They play like their coach did. He kind of did what the Giants coach did to the New York Giants, saying we're going we're gonna to be there when it's over. But, but, you know, I think what he did does have them doing what he didn't have them earlier. They're playing with a sense of urgency, meaning meaning that they don't believe that they're better than people. Now they're going to go out, they're playing out with a lot more effort. You can see things that they were doing before. Or they, He kind of pulled the reins and said, you know what, you guys got to tighten up, and I, you could see it on the floor. Now, you get, know, when you said he did like Jim Foss, I was what, get his team killed in the Super Bowl? <laughs> <laughs> he they, got, they got their 30th win tonight. They keep pace with the Hornets and the Raptors and the Pacers, all of whom won tonight in the East. Back with more on the AT&T <laughs> Halftime Report in just a second.